If you're a new parent who's feeling overwhelmed, you may have a secret weapon in your child care arsenal, your parents. The August issue of American Baby has more on what you need to know if you're asking your mom and dad to take on babysitting duties. Jessica Hartshorn from American Baby joins us with more. Good morning, Jessica. Good morning. Okay, so what's the percentage of um, parents who are working currently rely on their parents to take care of the baby? Mm -hmm. It's um, about 30%, the census says. I feel like it might even be a little more. I think there are some people who have their kids in daycare part-time, but then the grandparents are picking the kids up and doing a couple hours towards the end of the day. So obviously expense is one of the major reasons that one would call on mom and dad to take care of their of their grandchild. Um, can you give me a sense of, of how much child care costs, um, let's say in a metropolitan area like New York, would, and New let's York, just be yeah, frank, this is higher than the average in America, but what is right. it here? Here it's like $400 a week that you're probably paying for, per child for, per child for full-time daycare. There can be cheaper options like a Head Start program, but there can be more expensive options too. And you know, elsewhere in the country, it might be less money, but also salaries are less. So no matter what, people are stretched trying to cover daycare, and that's part of the appeal of living near grandparents and asking them to help. Okay, so there are some things you need to know if you're going to ask your mom to take care of the baby. Yeah, I mean, so number, number one. one, you don't want to take them for granted, right? You want to uh, set some rules and, and you know, um, ask nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I feel like people have a sense of entitlement, like you're the grandparent, surely you want to watch them. But you know, grandparents have already done this, right? Mm. They have raised their own children. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be retired and kind of taking it easy. And, and maybe in their mind, they just want to do this maybe uh, every once in a while. So when you come at them with a, how about you do this every week, maybe you might, you have to be up for some negotiation and, and some pleading. I'd so you don't pleading. assume that they <laughs> yeah, want to do it. Exactly. Don't assume that they're, they're, they're dying to be your babysitter. Um, ask nicely and hope that they will help you out. Um, now, make rules is another item on your checklist. Yeah. What, what do you mean by make rules? Well, if you did hire a, a babysitter um, who you're not related to, you might say, I'll, I, I'll be home by six every night, I'll leave lunch in the refrigerator, you know, you, you set things up for her. Uh, and so just because it's your mother watching your kids doesn't mean that you let all that slide, that you come home late without telling her, that you, you know, count on her to make all the meals. Expect her to do the laundry. Right, you know, expect her to run out to the drugstore and get the wipes that you didn't have a chance to pick up. You know, treat your mother with as much respect as you would treat a babysitter. Do you pay your parents to yeah, take care of your children? <laughs> you know, you, you probably should offer. So everyone's different and so, you know, your parents might actually think it's a little weird if you offer to make them like an employee, but if you're not going to pay them, then at least offer to compensate in other ways, whether it's helping them out at their house or, um, you know, buying them, a, a, coming home with a takeout dinner that they can bring home to eat after a long day with your kid. You know, just look for ways to show your gratitude, really. You know, I've seen these little t-shirts um, that uh, babies, toddlers wear, um, what is it, 1-800 my mommy and daddy having a bad day, and then on the back side, call 1-800-GRANDMA. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know? That's it, I'm going to grandma. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's the one that my daughter wore. So, um, so, 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 so the grandparents, grandparents are the... They're supposed to be fun, they're supposed yeah. to be fun. And that can be the other tricky thing. If they become um, the full-time babysitter and have to play the bad guy, you don't want it to take away from the sense of they're the fun grandparent. They're really looking forward to spoiling your kid, and you have to like allow them to do some of that, too. But if they are in a babysitter role, they also have to establish some, some rules, rules right? and they can be your rules you know it might be that when you were a baby they let you sleep on the couch but now we know that that's dangerous and babies should nap in the crib and you might have to do a little bit of educating as to you know what the current thinking is for safety and health and child development um, are there any downsides to your parents taking care of your children you know I it can definitely stretch the relationship a little so um, keep communication open you know let them blow off steam if something's bothering them and you tell them if you know just keep revisiting it it's going to change as the baby changes too and gets you know either easier or harder as they start running around as a toddler so you know well it's certainly out, it's certainly an option in these hard economic times definitely and maybe everyone comes out ahead right absolutely yeah. of course a relationship between a grandchild and a grandparent is a very special thing. It really is. And you really can't put a price tag on that. Yeah. Jessica Hartshorn from American Baby Magazine, thank you very much for being with us.